Our next speaker is a philosopher, he's an activist, he's a good friend of Julian Assange, and he was with John Shipton today in Belmarsh Prison visiting Julian Assange. Stretcher Horvath, please give him a big welcome. The last time I saw Julian Assange was exactly one year ago at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London. One year after, on the 5th of November, today I saw him again. Julian lost weight, more than 10 kilos. And it's a very difficult situation. But as I was telling him about today's protest happening here in front of the Home Office, as I was telling him about all the actions and events happening these weeks all across Europe and the world. Today in Torino, yesterday in Oslo, tomorrow in other cities, the We Are Millions campaign, Julian was suddenly smiling and getting better. When I asked him to convey a message to you and to the media today, he was very short and he said the following thing. He said, this is not about me, this is about you. What does it mean? It means that this is not just about Julian Assange, a courageous publisher. It is about freedom of press. It is about freedom of speech. It is about human rights. It is about democracy. It is about the future of this bloody country and UK. And it is about the future of democracy in the European Union. But let me add, it is about Julian Assange. It is about his life. But people are rapidly realizing, and the establishment is realizing too, and the mainstream media is realizing too, and Amnesty International also realized that we can win, and that we are winning already. When I see you here tonight, and when I see Vivian Westwood, MIA, John, and all the courageous people who are not afraid to be today in front of the Home Office, I can tell you that we are slowly winning. But let us not be deceived. We are fighting a stronger enemy. We are fighting against the deep state of the United States, who spy in the Ecuadorian embassy, as you have seen, the CIA spied directly all the whistleblowers, all the journalists, the lawyers, everyone who came to the embassy, including me, including Yanis Varoufakis, including many others. Where is democracy in the UK if UK is becoming a puppet of the United States of Donald Trump? This is a war on whistleblowers. This is a war on Europe's democracy. And this is not just a UK issue. This is a European issue. And this is why I came today from Europe, although UK is also part of Europe, whether it will be part of EU or not, we, let's see. Because if Europe loses Julian Assange, Europe will lose its soul. Europe will lose its ability to think and if Europe loses its ability to think, we will lose our democracy. Don't forget that a general election is coming in this country. Vote only for those who are ready to stop the extradition of Julian Assange. Remember, remember, 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot I see no reason why Julian Assange should be forgotten. And he will not be forgotten. <laughs>